Welcome to my living room. My name is Michelle York and today I am your personal trainer and your coach and I wanted to bring you a simple 10 minute workout you can do anytime, anywhere. Obviously I'm in my living room. I brought a chair in for my kitchen. I'm going to show you some modifications using that chair. Um, but this is a great workout that you can have in your tool belt for those days when you just don't have time to get a full on workout in. But you'll get your heart pumping. You'll get your muscles pumping. You'll get some tone in there. Um, it'll be a great workout for you to keep on days like Thanksgiving when you're very busy with family festivities. So let's get started. Today's workout is a 10 minute Tabata. We have 10 moves. We're going to do each move for 20 seconds with 10 seconds of rest, followed by doing it again. So we're going to go through that circuit twice and you'll have a full 10 minute workout right after we'll do just three to five minutes of stretching and then you will be free to be on your way. Now I'm starting this workout assuming that you are already kind of warmed up. If you are just starting your day, if this is the first thing you're doing, I want you to pause this video and I want you to do some squats, do some jogs in place, do some jumping jacks, rotate your arms, things like that just to get your body warmed up and ready for this workout. Then press play again and let's get going. So the 10 moves we're gonna do, I'm gonna show these to you very quickly so that when we get into the workout, I don't have to stop and explain the moves. So the first one is just jogging in place, right? So this is easy and you can do these with me just to practice. It'll also be part of your warm up. If you can't do the full on jog, just march in place, okay? You're moving your body, that's awesome. The next move is a push up. So for your push up, you can go to your hands and your toes plank position, suck your tummy in so that your belly button is reaching your spine, and then tilt your pelvis as if you're trying to get your belt buckle to your belly button, and then look out in front of your fingers, lower down your chest, and push up. You can do the same thing from your knees, lower down, and push up. And if you need to modify even more, use a chair. So just with your chair, you will do your push up just like that. All right, our next move is a burpee. So. The full on burpee is you put a push up in with it. So you put your hands on the floor, kick your feet back, lower all into the floor, lift up, jump in, jump up. You can lose the push up if you want to take it down a notch. Hands down, kick your feet back, kick your feet in and up. You can lose the plyos. Put your hands down, step back, step in, and stand up. And you can also use that chair with or without your plyo. Okay? A chair is your best friend during your workout. Next up, we're gonna do a knee up lunge on the right. So we'll focus on the right side first. So you step back into a lunge and you bring your knee up just like this, okay? Keep in mind when you step back, your knee that's up front, you don't want it to go in front of your ankle. You wanna keep that knee right over the ankle. Lunge down, go up. Then the next 20 seconds, we'll do the same thing on our left side. I'm already out of breath, people. All right, next up we have mountain climbers. Full mountain climber, down in a plank position. You switch your feet in the air, land on that front foot and the back foot at the same time, and then switch. You should do it just like that. You can also do more runners, which is where you just run those knees in. You can step your knees in, or you can use that chair. All right, this takes a lot of pressure off of your shoulders. So if you have any shoulder injuries, back injuries, things like that, use that chair. Next we have Heisman's. For your Heisman's, what I want you to do is just go from side and bring that knee up. You're gonna take your opposite elbow to opposite knee and twist towards the knee. Then our next move is a squat. So for your squat, your feet are hip distance apart. You sit back as if you're gonna sit in a chair. You can even sit in the chair and come up. If you're just learning to do a squat, Actually practicing with your chair is not a bad idea once you have the movement and you're not coming in front of it, because this is not a squat, that'll hurt your knees. You wanna make sure you're sitting back, squatting down, chest up. Jumping jacks, here is a full jumping jack, or you can modify and remove that plyo. And then the last move is a TikTok. Put your hands right by your ears, and you just rotate your upper body side to side. That's gonna work on those obliques. So we'll do all 10 of those and then we'll repeat. I have a timer here. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it beeping so that you know we're getting ready to move and I'll call out each move before we start. Let's go, get this done. First up, jog in place. 
in three, two, one, jog. Yeah, I think it's so hard for us on our holidays because we feel like we don't have time to get a full workout in, but you only need 10 to 15 minutes. Get your body moving, get your day started right. Go off to your festivities, eat your turkey, eat your stuffing, eat all those things and have a great day and break. Next up, push-ups. Remember, use your chair if you need to, go to your knees or you can go to toes and hands. Let's go, 20 seconds. Always look in front of your fingers. Don't let your head hang down. Remember to breathe. Break. All right, next up, burpees. I'm gonna lose the push-up since we just did a push-up, so I'll do more of the squat thruster. And let's go. Break. Next up, knee up lunge on the right. Remember, you lunge back, bring that knee up. Focus on one side. And let's go. Make sure when you're doing your lunge, you're stepping far enough back for that front knee stays over your ankle. I lost my balance. Your left glute should be burning right now. Release. All right, next up, other side. My heart rate's up, hope yours is too. And let's go. Hopefully my breathing's not too annoying for you. <laughs> Next up, mountain climbers. Remember, you can use your chair. Okay, you got four seconds when you get position. Halfway there. Keep going. And break. All right, Heisman's are next. This is your side to side. All right, three, two, one, and let's go. Remember, if you can't do the plyo, just step. You can always lose the jumps. Next up, squats. For me, use that chair. Just sit right back here in the chair and stand up. It's a great starting point. Chest up, no matter what. Remember, jumping jacks, take it low or take it all the way up. All right, TikToks. Hands behind your ears, feet are about hip distance apart, tuck your pelvis under. And go side to side. This is one of those, it doesn't feel like you're doing too much, but tomorrow you'll be feeling it in those obliques. Good job, almost there. 
round one done. You got one more time through and you are done with this 10 minute workout. We'll stretch it out. Starting back with our jogs. Two, one, and let's jog. You can even run around if you want to. You do what, you do what feels good for you. That's your workout. As long as you're moving your body, you're making your fat cry, doing awesome. It's better than the person sitting on the couch. All right, push-ups are next. Go ahead and get position. This time I'll show it on the knees. And drop down. Remember, look out in front of those fingers. Don't let your head hang down. Right, except burpees. I'm not gonna do the push up, I'm just gonna do squat thrust so that because I just did my chest. And let's go. Hopefully, keeping up. Even if you're modifying, you're doing awesome. Every workout's yours. Next up, knee up lunge. It's your workout. As long as you're doing it, you're good. Step back, knee up. Tone that booty. It's also getting our hip flexor. Sorry, we're gonna start talking all these about balance. On that note, if you're having balance problems, hold on to your chair. Left side, doing awesome. You ready? Knee up lunge, the other side. Good job. Good job, almost there, three seconds. Oops, got lost my balance again. All right, mountain climbers. Got five seconds, going to get in position. Now let's climb our mountain. Hopefully my huffing and puffing is reminding you to breathe. 30 seconds. And break. All right, Heisman's. Who knew 10 minutes? Work you so much. One, and let's go. Good job. Got three seconds. moves left. Minute and a half, you're done. Get those feet hip distance apart. Sit back, squat down. Think of it as you're going to the bathroom in the woods. You don't want anything to get on your shoes. So you sit back as far as you can. Keep it from getting on your shoes. And then when you stand up, stand all the way up. This is a full squat. All right, jumping jacks. rotate side to side the whole upper body goes not just this make sure you're bending that whole upper body 10 seconds good job all right so 
What we want to do now is we want to make sure our heart rate comes down so that we can stretch it out. Let's take a couple laps around your room. So deep breaths in, deep breaths out. I'm going to change our timer to a stretch timer and then we are going to do some stretching to finish this off. All right, so not too many moves. We're just going to do a few, but they're going to feel good. All right. So actually, I'm not even going to use the timer. We're just going to do our own stretching, okay? So what I want you to do, take a deep breath in. Blow out hard through your mouth. Do that again. Good job. All right, take your right arm, cross your body, hug it in. Once it's hugged in, rotate over to your left. So stretching out that shoulder. And our music's still a little pumping for stretching, but it's okay. All right, release. Other side, left arm across your body, hug it in with the right arm. Once you have it hugged in really tight, twist over to the right. in the center of the back. Use your left hand to grab that right elbow and then look up towards the ceiling. Together. Now we're going to do a forward fault by forward fold. So I am very flexible here, so I can just come down and touch my toes, no problem. If you're here, that's okay. I want you to go where you are. So lean forward, so stretch out those hamstrings. Keep breathing. If you want to get deeper, you can grab behind your legs. Hold your body in. Roll up. Now I want you to take your right foot, cross it over your left foot. With that right foot, cross over left foot. Kind of push your hip out to the left. And then fold forward again as far as you can. If this is as far as you can go, that's fine. You can go as far as you can. This is getting that IT band, which is that outside of that back leg on this side. Other side, left leg over your right leg, kick the hip out, punch it out to the right, fall forward, in that right IT band. Keep breathing. Now I want to stretch out our glutes, our bottoms. So if you have a chair, you can sit, cross your leg over, your right leg, push down with that right knee, and lean forward. Or if you want to get a little deeper, you can still use that chair, cross the right foot onto your right ankle onto your left knee, and sit back, use the chair for balance, or if you have the flexibility, come all the way down to the floor. Arms open really, really wide. Cross them over, hug 
of yourself. Good job. Give yourself a hand. I'm so proud of you for getting this 10 minute workout in. Please let me know what you thought and if you'd like to see more things like this. Again, my name is Michelle York. It was my pleasure to get to lead you through this workout. I hope you have an awesome day. Bye everyone.